The key factors that impacted women's college basketball. Have you and your family ever sat down and watched a girls' college basketball game? One day I was watching a game with my family, and then that got me thinking, what are the top key factors that impacted women's college basketball? So I decided to do some research, and I found the top five ways. These ways are clothing, scholarships, opportunities, coaches, and players. So let me tell you a little bit about them. Clothing. There have been a lot of changes to clothing women basketball players have been expected to wear. For example, in the early 1900s, women's clothing were very different than they are today. In the early 1900s, women had to play in skirts. If you don't know, the, the typical basketball uniform that women wear now are soft shorts and soft jerseys. But instead of that, the typical basketball uniform women wear now, women had to play in skirts, and that's not fair. Finally, in the 1930s, they took away the skirts, introducing shorts, just like what the men wore. In the 1940s and 50s, they had to use cheaper materials for the women's uniforms. Wool uniforms were replaced, were replaced with functional polyesters and nylon. In the 1960s, less and less skirts were being worn on the court. Scholarships. Another thing that helped impact women's college basketball were scholarships. Scholarships were invented in 1643, but they were rarely given out. The next scholarship that was given out was in 1902. That is more than 200 years later than the first one was even handed out. Women's college basketball became a thing in 1892. Scholarships were a thing, but they weren't as common as they are today. Now players are more likely to get scholarships now than they once were in the early 1900s. In 1974, the first woman to ever get a scholarship was Ann Myers. That was only 50 years ago. She was offered a scholarship by UCLA. In fact, basketball is one of the best ways to get a scholarship. Landing a scholarship isn't impossible. Opportunities. There are a lot more opportunities now than there once were in the early 1900s. For example, seeing players on TV networks and Title IX. Back then, no one was on TV. And now, we see college players in commercials all the time. This helps them get more money to pay for college funds, textbooks, equipment, meals, facilities, and trainers. Title IX was also a big impact. Before Title IX, women received little support, but now there is a new law that requires schools to provide, to provide women's equitable opportunities. Women were more encouraged by this, causing them to try harder and get into the WNBA, which was only first played in 1997. Coaches. There are a lot of coaches that really helped set a positive impact. One of the coaches I'd like to be talking about today is Tara Vanderveer. Tara has now won 1,214 games in her 45 seasons as a coach. That's a lot. She beat Mike Krzyzewski, the former Duke's men head coach. Tara has won three national championships, most recently in 2021. More than 30 of her college players have gone to the WNBA. Another coach I'd like to be talking about today is Lisa Leslie. Today, Leslie coaches the triplet team team's men big three league alongside Nancy Lieberman, who is also quite important. Lisa and Nancy are the first to ever coach pro men. Later, Leslie retired in 2009, authorizing the book Don't Let the Lipstick Fool You. This impacted so many little girls to play basketball. And lastly, players. There are a number of amazing players that also had a positive impact to the sport and how it has evolved. Some of these players I'd like to be talking about is Lisa Leslie, Cheryl Swoops, Diana Taurasi, and of course, Caitlin Clark. Remember Lisa Leslie? She was also an amazing player. She was the first to dunk in the WNBA, setting a record by scoring 101 points in the first half of a high school game. Diana Taurasi led her team to three consecutive NCAA championships. And of course, I couldn't go all this way without talking about Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is breaking records that have been set by men, including the all-time NCAA scoring record previously held by Pete Maravich. Okay, let's talk about the Clark effect. Clark has been breaking records but that have been set by men. She even represented the USA at the international youth level. She was only 18. In summer, the key factors that impacted women's college basketball to what they are today are the new style in clothing, scholarships, roaming opportunities, coaches, and players. Women's college basketball has changed a lot, and it'll probably change a lot more in the future. Some people might not love all the changes, but that's what makes the game exciting.